Just minutes from downtown Oklahoma City sits the American Pigeon Museum and Library, where these feathered friends are perched and ready for visitors. They're a beautiful animal and more intelligent than most people think that they are. The museum first opened as the Oklahoma Homing Pigeon Institute in 1973, and in 2014 expanded into this space to include collections on even more pigeon varieties. The collections are donated. Everything is donation-based, so they come from various uh, pigeon fanciers all over the United States. There are three main exhibits inside to experience. The first you'll see as soon as you enter the main gallery, called Pigeons in Wartime. They would carry messages about enemies, where enemies were located. During World War I and World War II, pigeons played a vital role in delivering messages to soldiers. They were credited with saving uh, lots of lives in the war. Another permanent collection includes artwork and figurines to show the difference between the fancy and homing pigeons. You can also learn about the life and death of the passenger pigeon. We just got our first passenger pigeon. Um, they've been extinct for a little over 100 years and there's only around 13 or 14 that are taxidermied. The third exhibit includes a room dedicated to pigeon racing, with several items on display, including this large collection of pigeon racing clocks. It's just a really old sport. I think that um, pigeon racing dates back like about 5,000 years. And so every state has their own clubs and it's still a popular sport. Uh, we're trying to get more younger people interested in it. After you look at all the exhibits inside, head outside to see some real live pigeons. And some of them you can even hold, like my friend Elvis here. They just have all these different qualities that are different and bred to look unique and uh, people show them. We get people from all over the place and usually it's someone that has looked it up and kind of is looking for something quirky or different to kind of check out. So whether you're a pigeon fancier or not, join the thousands of worldwide visitors to this free museum to learn more about the bird known as man's oldest feathered friend. Discovering Oklahoma and Oklahoma City, I'm Deanne Stein.